Hi, uh, I'm Ginger, and this is my husband, Robert Chanel. We're uh, here. We're both very excited about rebuilding together Aurora, taking care of our home. I'm going to go ahead and let Bob tell you everything that they're going to do, but we are very, very excited, and thank you so very much. We are very excited. Yeah, Rebuilding Together Aurora has came in. Um, they are a, they're a savior. Um, we had purchased this home about a year, little over a year ago. Um, we were trying to fix it up ourselves, but my wife and I, both being on disability, kind of ran out of money. Uh, Rebuilding Together Aurora came in, and they have... They're, they're replacing our windows, they're replacing the doors, they're fixing foundation for us, um, doing beautiful landscaping. They've given us a, a fence for our dog. Um, it's just, they, they've been such a wonder, such, such a, a blessing to us. And I just don't know how to say thank you enough to Rebuilding Together Aurora. Yeah, my name is Shad Gorski. We're here with Human Electric uh, doing some remodels on a few of the homes uh, with Rebuilding Together Aurora, uh, re-updating all the electrical, um, bringing them up to code and making sure it's a safe system for the people uh, in their house. And smoke detectors, um, service changes, upgrade on devices, everything else. Uh, give it back to the community. You know, it's, a, it's a people less fortunate. We're fortunate enough to uh, be trained in a skilled trade and uh, try to pass that along. Rebuilding Together Aurora. Good morning, my name is Terry Crema and I am the co-house captain for this particular project for Rebuilding Together Aurora. Uh, we're very excited today. First of all, we have wonderful weather for both days, but we're excited to be assisting our homeowner. Her name is Mary and she's a senior with a hearing impairment. We're helping her do some upgrades to her home. Uh, we're putting in a new floor and redoing her landscaping. And we are getting some awesome assistance from a, an electrical contractor who's putting in um, some lighting upgrades for her. And the awesome, wonderful city of Aurora is putting in smoke detectors that she will be able to uh, use even though she has a hearing impairment. Um, the volunteers are amazing and the leadership has been great and so we're just really thrilled to be here today. So I'm going to pitch it over to my house captain, Steve. Thanks Mary. Uh, my name is Steve Perselius. I'm the house captain here for Mary Dumas at uh, 717 North May in Aurora here. Uh, really glad I got an opportunity to work with Rebuilding Together Aurora. This is the second time I've been a house captain. I've done numerous uh, things for rebuilding together. I really enjoy it, um, and uh, yeah, like Mary, uh, like let's actually grab the homeowner here real quick. Come on out here, Mary. Come on out. This is our this is our homeowner, Mary. How excited are you? Are you are are you happy that we're doing this for you? I'm very very happy to be here, and I'm I'm thankful for all the volunteers that came to, to my home. I can even breathe better. Last night I had a good night's sleep, I even breathed better. And thank you very, very much. And for the food, for the, they took the food up there. First time I sat out and had a nice, healthy meal. It was very, very good. And uh, I'm thankful for everything they're doing right now, okay? Yes. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Welcome, all of you, for uh, for being here. We really, uh, uh, Rebuilding Together Aurora appreciates everything that you guys are doing and that you will do today. It's a great day. We're looking, really looking forward to having a wonderful time here. This is a, this is a day that uh, is going to be sunny, bright, and you're going to be able to put some sunshine and some brightness into the lives of the people that you're going to be serving today. You are our greatest assets. You're volunteering with us. We appreciate you giving up the time, the day, whatever it is that you're, you're doing. We really like, uh, enjoy the fact that you're going to be here. We want to make it the best day for you. We want to make it the best day for our homeowners. And I know you'll be a, a big part of that. So I really want to thank you all for being here. This is an opportunity where you 
Today you're going to help some. You're going to help people that can't help themselves, and you're going to be able to make a difference in their lives. It's really going to be a great day for all of us. I want to introduce quickly uh, a couple of people that are here. Um, we have um, Alderman uh, Mike Seville, and he wants to say a few words. Yeah, I was here yesterday, and I just want to reiterate uh, my thanks. I'm the alderman uh, of the ward here, and all the work that's being done. Uh, in the 20 homes is entirely within my ward. I, I can't tell you how grateful we are for all of your volunteer efforts. I understand there's over 400 people yesterday and today that are helping on these 20 properties. You're making a great difference in our community. Uh, we appreciate not only your hard labor and your skills, but all the contributions that have ma been made on behalf of people that couldn't afford it to do it themselves. And uh, the result, of course, is not only uh, an upgrade of the properties that they own, but the neighborhoods surrounding it as well. So you're not only helping those individual properties, you're helping the surrounding neighborhoods as well. Uh, and it's, you know, it's almost like a snowball effect where other people will see some of the work that you're being to, uh, doing today, and they'll be doing it themselves, those that can afford it. So um, I just want to uh, reiterate uh, our thanks by, uh, on behalf of the city of Aurora. And I really like the... Uh, I drove past uh, after work yesterday some of the properties that you're, uh, some of you are working on, and, and I've already seen the difference in that community garden down in Highlands looking really good, and it's going to benefit a lot of people, not only the uh, Marie Wilkinson Food Pantry, uh, but the people that uh, will be renting the plots as well. So uh, it'll be helping people uh, actually feed themselves uh, that couldn't otherwise do that. So again, thank you very much, and I will reiterate, like I did yesterday, that Alderman Shakita Art Perns of the 7th Ward and myself will be contributing and paying for all your food today as our way of showing our appreciation and thanks. So eat hearty, and, and once again, thank you very much for all of your work today. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. We've got some homeowners here that we would like to just share. They'd like to share just a little bit of, of their story to you with you for, for a couple minutes. If you, so if you wouldn't mind, Jose Silva, would you like to step up? Thank you for everything. I'm sorry for my English, but it's no, not, not too much good, but anyway, I can try. Uh, Warren, this is the captain in my house. Thank you for everything, the uh, revealing together. So for helping me in my house, fix everything, change the windows, uh, soffit, you know, everything. Change my life. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a lot of people. I have the list here, but this is a lot of people, so thank you, thank you. This is my wife, Nancy, so maybe yes, th say Thank something. you for everything, and thank you all volunteers, and we, you, you changed our life, and my daughters, my family, because we need that, and thank you, thank you so much. Oh, Brian is the captain here in my house. <laughs> thank <Sorry>. you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> thank you. To me, God. Tamika, would you like to step up? Yep. My name is Tamika, and I am a homeowner, and I would like to thank you guys uh, for taking time out of your busy schedules uh, for helping myself and my family. Um, I want to thank you guys. You're such a blessing, and I hope that you continue to do what you do for years to come and help many other families, and thank you for improving our neighborhood. Thank you. That was great. I see that the mayor's office is represented here too. Rick Guzman is here. Um, yesterday, Lillian Perry was here as well, and Lillian was a, had a big uh, part of us moving into this community and, and picking this community to to work here. Lillian uh, is a longtime member of the Sixth Ward, and and uh, her church is over there. And we had our initial meetings over there, so Lillian uh, was a big factor in in uh, helping us. Uh, work with uh, this community and get the, get the people involved in it. And uh, Lillian also works with uh, Linda Chaplavia, so that, there's a lot of support from the, from the city of Aurora that we see here. Um, I just want to, uh, and before we move on, I guess I've got uh, one other thing I want to talk about is that fact that we're doing 20 houses today. It's affecting 43 homeowners. Um, we're doing windows, we're doing soffits, we're doing gus uh, gutters. We're doing floors, lots of new floors. We're doing some bathroom upgrades. We're doing a lot of electro upgrades. Thank you all for that kind of. This is the kind of stuff that you're doing for these for these homeowners. It's really going to make a difference in their lives. They're, that's what they're telling you today. I've got Pastor Gary Olson here who wants to just give us a quick blessing, um, and I'd I'd appreciate that. 
This is a day the Lord has made. We are here to rejoice and be glad in it. And God has given us an awesome day. The, the temperatures are perfect for working and stimulating good work. And as has been said so very articulately al already, um, you are a part of making a big difference in the lives of so many people. Um, 43 homeowners, 20 properties, um, safety issues are being resolved by your labors. You're coming together as a community and making a difference. We're gonna give God thanks for that. So would you join with me in a word of prayer? Gracious Lord, we thank you this day for um, providing us with a great work day. We thank you for the efforts of all those who have done work in preparation for today. We thank you for the generous donations of oh so many. We thank you for the labors of each person today. We pray for safety today. Keep us safe at our work sites. Pray that the work we will do will be transformational. That it will make a difference in the lives of others. That they then will go and make a difference in the lives of still others. So this day we ask your blessings. We ask that you'd give us good energy to do as much work as we possibly can. We ask again that you'd keep us safe. And we thank you for giving us the privilege of being able to make a difference in the lives of others. And uh, all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, a couple of things that we want to do uh, before we break up here today. Safety has got to be, uh, we, we want to uh, make that awareness today. Be safe on these on the sites today. If you're on a ladder, uh, be careful with that. Make sure, you use, uh, make sure you use a spotter for whatever you use. Power tool safety, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be encompassing or using power tools or they're going to be around the area. Be careful with, uh, with that and all the cords that are involved with those things. Um, any other safety equipment, use goggles if you need them. Um, and uh, if you do get an injury, and we're hoping that you don't, but obviously we, we, if you do get an injury, let your house captain know right away. We do have first aid kits on site, so that you can get some, uh, you, you should be able to use those. But we need to know right away if there is an injury, and the house captain is, uh, can take it from there. So make sure that you let them know if you do have a problem.